Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great Wednesday. Hope you're having a good lunch if you're on lunch hour, just taking a break, relaxing, whatever it is. I hope that you're having a great, great day. Hey, I want to take just a few moments today and I want to encourage you with what I believe the Lord is doing and up to. I believe we're being poised and positioned for the greatest move of God that possibly the earth has ever seen. And here's the great thing. You and I get to be a part of it. And I'm so excited about that. You know, the Bible talks about in the book of Isaiah, it was in the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah said, I saw the Lord. Matter of fact, he said, I'm going to read it to you, all right? It said, I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, high and lifted up, and the train filled the temple. And it stood, and above it stood, uh, uh, above it stood seraphim. Each one had six wings. With two uh, covered his face. With two he covered his feet. And with two he flew. And one cried to another, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth. Listen to this. The whole earth is full of his glory. We've been declaring that this is the acceptable time, a uh, time of God's glory. And he said, and the post of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out and the house was filled with smoke. So I said, woe is me for I'm undone because I'm a man of unclean lips and I dwell in the midst of the people of, uh, of unclean lips for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the uh, seraphims flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with the tongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, he has touched my lips. Uh, your iniquity is taken away and your sin is purged. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, this is, I read all of that to get to this. I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Here, here's a question. Who will I send? Well, I don't know about you. I want to be one of those that God will send and be a part of this great move of God. I believe you are too. So what does it take? What does it take for us to be positioned properly? Well, first of all, I think we could find it right here in this passage of scripture. It's somebody that's willing to recognize that God is moving. Friend, I got to ask you, are we so caught up with all the things that are going on around us? And I know it's got our attention, but are we so entrapped by that, that we are missing? missing what the Lord is up to. I think first we've got to get our focus on the fact uh, uh, that God is moving and get our eyes focused upon him. Here's the second thing. Remember the question is, whom shall I send and who will go for us? So here's the second part. I think, are you available? Are you willing to let God use you in this moment of time? It's interesting that when Isaiah said he saw all of this, he saw the glory, he saw the Lord, and the first thing that happens, he said, I, but I'm a man of unclean lips. I, I'm not worthy of this. Listen, friend, here's the deal. Notice what happened next. The angel comes and took a coal off the altar and placed it on the tongue of Isaiah and said, now your sins are purged. Listen, here's the deal. All that God is looking for is somebody that will be available, somebody that will avail themselves to his work and his ability and let God worry about taking care of us. You mean, pastor, that gives me the right to sin and all that? No, not at all. But so many times we talk ourselves out of the move of God and what God wants to do with us because we feel unworthy, either because of our sinfulness or even because of things of past that we, we've been under the blood. But Jesus is touching us for this hour. I believe he is working on us and I believe he's touching you. I believe he's stirring your heart for such a move of, of, of God like the earth has never seen that he said, I want to use you in it. Here's the third thing. Are you ready to go? Where do I got to go? He may not see you anywhere. It's not about traveling across the world. It's not about jumping on a plane and going somewhere. It may just be wherever you go, wherever your world is. That's why I said in the scripture, go ye into all the world and preach this gospel. See, your world's different than my world. It's wherever you go throughout the day. I believe God just wants you to be available to him. 
and allow him to move through you in this hour. He might even at that, he might send you to someone, but whatever it is, I want you to be willing. I want you to be available. I want you to let God empower you and let's be a part of this great move of God.